Talks between Russian President Vladimir Putin, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev, and also the Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan are all set to take place later in the day today in Moscow over the Nagorno Karabakh settlement. The tripartite talks initiated by the Russian President is to try and bring the leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan together nearly two months after the Moscow brokered agreement that brought to an end six weeks of bitter conflict between the two nations. The three sides are due to discuss the Nagano Karabakh peace deal and also further steps to try and resolve the disputes between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The talks will focus on aiding residents of the war zone and unblocking economic and transportation links between the two nations. Armenian Prime Minister Pashinyan has also released an official statement confirming the upcoming trilateral talks. Now, the Prime Minister spokesperson Mane Jerov, Jero, Jevorgyan said on Sunday that talks will not include any signing of documents on the resolution of the Karabakh issue. Now, Pashinyan is also likely to hold a private meeting with the Russian president as part of his working visit. Nearly 5,000 soldiers on both sides, remember, died in the fighting over the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh before Russia managed to broker a truce that was eventually signed on the 10th of November. Armenia, as a part of the ceasefire that it agreed to, decided and agreed to vacate from several of Azerbaijani regions that it had occupied illegally in 1994. And this, of course, is now a deal that is being overseen by Russian peacekeepers. And we also earlier spoke with our correspondent Stuart Smith, and this is what he had to say. Russia is being seen as the kingmaker in these talks. Russia still sees the Caucasus, where, Azer uh, where Azerbaijan and Armenia are, as part of its domain, seeing as both of those countries are post-Soviet countries. And the talks today are looking not at a signing of any new agreement. These are really just an opportunity for the two leaders to come together with the supervision of Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss what can happen next. As things stand, we have Russian peacekeepers, nearly 2,000 Russian peacekeepers, in the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh and they're there to ensure peace, to ensure that fighting does not continue and also to demine the area which was heavily mined during the fighting. Russia is also investing heavily in aid in the area and is wanting to make sure that this region develops back into a situation of economic stability and trade so that relations can resume as normal. But there are things still to be, disagree uh, to be agreed upon. The agreement in November, the ceasefire agreement, was just that. It was an agreement on how to stop the fighting. It's not an agreement as to where to go next. And that's what these two leaders, with President Putin, will be trying to discuss. But definitely uh, a lot of high emotions amongst both countries. The um, Armenian Prime Minister, when trying to get to Russia yesterday, was nearly stopped. His convoy in Armenia was nearly stopped by protesters, and police had to intervene to let him through. It gives you a sense of the strength of feeling in a country which feels like it's lost out hugely from this war.